Hey, this is Hollis from HollisEaster.com. I just got this flute. It's a Irish style wooden flute and it's great. The thing about playing flute is that once you've been playing for a while you get some condensation built up on the inside of the flute and you need to swab it out or the wood gets damaged. And many flutes will come with a cleaning rod but this one didn't. And you can, you know, sort of do the thing of trying to shove some cloth down in there and it just it doesn't work very well without a rigid thing to to guide it along. And it turns out the commercial world has an answer for us with this and you can buy a cleaning rod. Uh, they make ones made out of metal, which I've always sort of thought was dangerous because metal is harder than wood and you can scratch this up. Plastic ones are pretty easy. And basically all you need is something that'll fit through that bore with room for some cloth to go with it. And I was looking at this and thinking, okay, you can just buy one, they're 15 or 20 bucks. I bet I can make one. And it turns out I have some plastic. I have a nice plastic rod that is about the right size and about the right length. And so I was thinking, I bet I can make one of these out of a coat hanger. I'm gonna start with a few basic things. One, I've got a coat hanger here. This is a relatively thin, uh, thin diameter coat hanger. So they make ones that are really stronger and thicker. I'm guessing that I want the narrow flimsy one. So that's what this is. Um, I need something to cut it with. These are just tin snips, but you know, anything like pliers that have side cutters in them or anything like that. Plastic's pretty soft, so you can cut it with anything. Got a lighter for polishing the ends. And importantly, whenever you're gonna be cutting something, you want some safety goggles here, so. All right, and this is pretty simple. We're not looking for anything fancy here, so I'm just gonna get in there, get rid of this ribbing, and there we are. There's one end. Let's get the other end. And there's our raw materials. So here we are, and then what I'm gonna do it's just, those ends look fine, but I want them to be a little bit more smoothed out. So I'm gonna get some flame here. You don't wanna breathe this, but I'm just gonna melt that end until it sort of gets softened a little bit. You can see that that's sort of bulged out a little bit and uh, no longer has the sharp edges that it had. And then I'm gonna do the same thing to the other end. do that the other way around just so you can see what I'm doing. I'm not putting it right in the flame, I'm just putting it above the flame and keeping it moving, keeping it moving. I don't want it to burn, I just want it to melt. So there we go. All right, and I'll just give that a minute to cool down. You can see on the other side that uh, this one's gone back down the plastic stage. Um, this one's still pretty pretty warm, so I'll just uh, give it a sec here. That one's a little bit firm still in one spot, so I'm just gonna remelt that. Let it, uh, let it rejigger itself. Actually, I'm gonna press that a little bit on some metal just to smooth it out. There we go. You can roll this while it's still hot and uh, clean it out. And now I should be able to take my new uh, my new cleaning rod and just get it over the end of my bandana here. And there we are. I'm gonna find a, uh, a slightly smaller piece of fabric just because this is a little bit tight at the end there. But I just saved myself 20 bucks. If you like this, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Um, I'm going to be starting a new series on flute and whistle things, and I'd love to see you there. Thanks so much.